No, we're not doing the video on this yet. I promise it'll be soon. It's another one going out. We sold a slew of these already. A slew of them. Not that many. But that drives everybody nuts when I say that. The video is about the car hop. I've never done a video on car hop before. We've had a few past to us, but we've never had one quite as beautiful as this one. Designed by John Norris, who's my hero, because I happened to propose marriage on a John Norris game, Lights, Camera, Action. And finally tonight, a Northeast Philadelphia man made a pinball proposal. And as Denise James reports, this time he was playing for keeps. Todd Tucky brought his girlfriend, Pam Metzger, to the Challenger Video Arcade for more than simple fun and games. Tucky, a video game salesman, had a pinball machine rigged to pop the question when the steel ball ricocheted into position. I'm making this great video because I did film that 24 years ago. How I proposed on the light kind of action. That was John Norris design. John made this. This is called a street level game with no ramps. It was designed to go in a location where the ball wouldn't get stuck or hung up someplace, selling at a cheaper price than all the other pinball machines, but using the reliable System 3 boards. The alphanumerical displays here. The cabinet was leaner, like me. Like me, Frank? He's upset. Frank, the camera is cockeyed again. No, no, no. No, no. Steven repainted the paint. Just like Vegas, the paint goes. We don't know anything about paint. <laughs> it was bad in this game. We had to buy Car Hop Pink and repaint it. So it has now been repainted. Uh, so it's as close to the original as it can be. Uh, we think the guy's going to be thrilled. This also has yellow tea molding here instead of the original black. And look! Our light matic buttons has moved on, hasn't it? Uh, the light matic buttons are amazing now. Uh, let me tell you a bit little about this. Let me show you something. Yeah. Kurt, yeah. It's not... Oh! You idiot! You, my videos... You fall. I don't fall. All right, let's here, let me show you. Uh, we just found out Steve Young, a pinball resource, makes this clear now, this clear insert, okay? And he makes the clear red and green buttons. So now we can light these. As you see, he done a really nice, neat job. See how this here, this is a bendy pointed at the clear window. And he's wired it in very nice and neat. Right here, heat shrink. And then it's tied in here to the GI, so there'll never be a problem. The same is true on this side. You can also see we put brand new uh, end stroke switches on the game. It's one of the yeah, usual end things we do. switches usually go bad. Same thing. No, no. End stroke switches, cabinet switches. Flipper switches. Mm -hmm. Up here changed. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh. I got new springs in here. They light cool. up real nice. Did you change the bulb fluid? It's all top the bulbs off. are lubricated. Okay, good. It topped off every 5,000 miles. Good. This isn't network. Thank God. Well, he did change the end there. Now, you happy? End of stroke that switches. Okay. No, new switches. sleeves. New plunger. They're called end of stroke switches. The plunger's changed. How about the link? That link changed. Why is he so mean to me? Just need four legs. 38 years, you think you'd know your pinball terminology. I'm trying. Now look, this even has a bell inside. Isn't that nice? Nice sounding bell. Okay, look at that. It's beautiful. It is. He's put all LEDs underneath the play field. Okay. It's actually a really fun game. It it's is. Fun. Got color changers here lighting up these clear rollovers, which you're going to see in a minute. We're going to actually, why don't we get back to the top of the play field, Kurt? Let's lower this and move him. Okay, Kurt. Take over the camera ring so mm -hmm. Frank can finish over. Oh. Now don't point it at the ceiling. 
There's the They're format. upsetting people in 1080p. Oh, yeah. New format that you magically found. Oh, okay. I wanted to show you real quick the system we use back here and some of the things. This is a really nice feature. Oh, by the way, did you notice we have blue, white, and red flash lamps? Is that white? What you play that? A nice white. It's beautiful. Blue, white, white and fire. Now, they match up to the blue car headlights, to the red car headlights, see? The thermometer, or the thermometer right here, okay? Okay, is a really nice feature in playing in the game. Is that, is that perk? It's very clever. It's called Heat Wave. That's the wave feature. Now, to make the flash lamp, the LED flash lamps work, you sometimes have to flip these. He had to turn every one. So he had to flip, he had to put the, the ground on the center part and the uh, feed on the other side. Just so you know, you may have to do that if you try putting flash lamps in that don't seem to work. It's using the earlier System 3, okay, that has the smaller RAM but you can actually put both in it. See the board here? This has the smaller RAM. You notice there's there's four oh. extra legs, two on each side. So this board, unless you put the larger RAM in, would not work on a newer game, a dot matrix game. But we did put the, um, the button battery in there so our customer will be able to change it. We changed the caps over here on this part here. So, and the power supply has been serviced. Really have to take them out and clean them, and get them cleaned up and ready. Nice. See how easy that is to slip in and out. You just wish they made. I don't think anybody makes this overlay anymore, Kurt. Mm. This swings up like that, and then there's a key on the side of the locker. We're going to leave it open in case we have to go back. I want to show you some of the features with the power off, the lights off. Of what he did on this that really, really make it special. He took out the original rollovers in the four places. He's got purple in here. He put a clear rollover, brand new rollovers. We love buying new ones from Steve Young. And we put a clear a purple in there. Do it with the lights off? Start with the lights and turn them yeah, off? Yeah, I think we'll do that. Well... I was going to then play the game for the past. The game lets you start the game and you're allowed to play either in the past or in the present. However, it looks like we never recorded the 22 minutes of gameplay in the past. Oh. That whole thing was as stupid as you screwing up the video, just so you know. Oh, God, I don't have the clip. And the game is already gone. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I even filmed that you'll see them picking up the game. <sighs> but I do have the present. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but these things happen. And yeah, I, major screw-ups. They just happen. I feel like a big, fat fool, Frank. Well, you sure as look like one. <gasps> Frank! I'm so sorry. Listen, folks, you know, uh, well, as I like to say, it's not network. Are we recording now? Is that how we do <laughs> things? Right? We record when we're not trying to film something well, turn the camera off? We were so excited about this game. Oh, but yeah. Listen, the good news is I do have a nice chunk of us playing it in the present. And you can see a lot of the wonderful features uh, because we duplicate a lot of the same activity. But it's not explained as well, unfortunately. So you'll have to wait for another car hop to get more detail. Oh, wait a minute. Let me get that. Hold on. TNT, can I help you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Hang on one second. Hold on. Hold on. This guy wants to sell his car hop to us. Ah! Your lucky day. You definitely must be making deals with the devil. <laughs> Frank just made that up on the spot. The phone. Yeah, oh, you're so cute. You it up. Frank, you can't say that word. <laughs> Children are watching. They probably know that word better than I do. Alright, well anyway, let's go and play the present. Alright, now we're going to play the present, Kurt. So <laughs> Kurt's going to push the right flip button. Now, the music changes slightly. 
we still have the needle drop. We're going to have the basic music, but the sounds will be more modern. We're no longer going to have that bell that keeps charming. Go ahead, Kurt. Skill shot. Skill shot. I spotted the ice pops. Now he's immediately in the extra ball round, Kurt. It's going to just take you a second to get an extra ball, young man. Five seconds. Four seconds. Kurt, you're supposed to hit something. Here, I'll help. Now, one left to hit, Kurt. Well, it reset this target, too. See, if he had gone up high enough, watch. Now, now he can activate the skill shot or get the ball right back down here. That's right, you're the one that thought this may have a feature where if you went around a loop and we delayed it to the outside, it's going. Let, let's try. I think that might be only in the heat let's, let's see. Let's see what happens, Kurt. If you go around this ring here, and I and I def, de, deflay it, de, I, I defer it, deflay it. Deflay it? Start. Went down the toilet. No, you're wrong, Kurt. I think you have to be in heat wave, like I said. Oh, just the heat wave. Oh, okay. Oh, Kurt, Kurt, you had your... Oh, here we are. All right, what are you going to get, Curdy? Idiot. Oh. Big points. Big points. Okay. Shoot the ball. Alright, look, he's got he's got the, the burgers lined up. He hits the bullseye though. Extra ball. But they're no longer lined up, Curdy. This giant word right here says extra ball that I just hit. Oh. He gave me the extra ball. The giant word that says extra ball. I was looking down here at the burgers. Of course you were. <laughs> I wish you're looking at the food. I like the fact that this has two loops. You got this, this loop on here. Now look, this center one advances the center burger. See when that's lit? Burger, burger, burger. Advances the bur center burger. Burger, burger. Should we call this game burger time? Oh, we're gonna get heat wave now. Uh oh. You're so close to a heat wave there, man. Get your bonuses up. Big chance, endless bonuses. Now, did you see? You did it again, Kurt. Good for you. Not bad. You got a nice ice pop bonus there, Kurt. Nice ice pop. Sounds like all you got. That's a nice hot dog you got there. Oh, man. Uh, to see. The H and the P. That's the next place. I'm sure there's some other neat stuff programmed, but a good basic but loaded with features game. Heat Wave is now activated. Big arrow, center target. Come on, Curdy. Here it is. He's starting to give him one. Oh, look! Got the two. Bullseye, Curdy. Bullseye. Oh. Yeah, try it again. I gave it back to him, folks. As Rudy said, you could have it back. Oh, Is that a going up? Is that a bowl back? One of our new LEDs? Call the guy you got him from. It's one thing I find, you can't let one light bulb drive you nuts. Uh, look at that. Ah, right back. Isn't that a nice, nice dump? No. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Jesus. Well, I meant dumped it back to the flipper. That's what I meant. <laughs> Everybody's ever said dump back to the flipper. A nice dump. Back to the flipper. Okay, let's see. Now, of course, as you know, we're going to be matching on the twenty, Kurt. Here we go. Here we go. Looking for the twenty. Here, sixty. Yeah. Nothing. Did you did you like the effect? Like the tires, spinning tires are moving. Well, what do you think, guys? Kurt, flip that light back on. What sure. do you think? 
Clap it on. You want one? Yes, I guess you do. I guess you do then. And well, there's what did I, what did I say? A thousand and sixty-one. Uh, the highest production was Vegas. I think that had fifteen hundred of this series, and the lowest production was either Deadly Weapon or Hoops. We've had them all. We've had them all. And another one has the animation in the back place. Uh, title fight. And Silver Slugger was the sixth, sixth one. So there's six of these wonderful street ready games. Simple, easy to understand. A ball can't really get stuck anywhere. And they, they made sure that they put some holes in different spots around the play field in case the ball happened to become airborne. It would go in here, drop down there on top of that switch or whatever. Very nice. Nice design, nice cabinet, Frank. And a very happy customer. And guess what, Frank? We're not adding anything on. We're not going to go to Pizza Hut on this video. We're not going to Daddy Pops on this video. We're doing nothing. We are simply going to end it now. I almost forgot. These folks came all the way from Long Island, the end of Long Island over three hours away to pick up the car hop. Let's go out and look at it, come on. Okay. And guess what also? Bailey can't wait to play this game, can you Bailey? Nope. Look, it's wrapped up like a cocoon. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to go back to New York, isn't it? We better get ready for our long drive. Shall I say it? Now get out! <laughs> We're just kidding. Thanks guys. Good night. Now get out of here!